Hello, welcome to my home learning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw an eye. What you will need. You will need a pencil, preferably an HD one that you can sharpen, uh, darker pencils, colour pencils and a piece of tissue paper and a rubber. Let's get started. Okay, so you want to start with drawing a few circles repeatedly. This will be your base of the eye. Then draw a line in the middle for the bit, the structure of the eye um, lids. Then draw lines where you want the eye to go out to. Then draw your eye and meet the lines to the lines that you have made for the structure. You can do this as many times as you want but try to rub it out as well as you can. Now do the bottom eyelid and do the same, but try to make it a curved line, not, not a line with dips. Now draw uh, the circle again and try and make the lines as hard as you can, but let lightly. Then draw a line down the middle and Try to draw your eyeball. You can also do this as many times as you like, but just try to rub it out as much as you can when you want to start again. Now we're going to start drawing the iris. Um, you can just do the same technique as how to draw the structure of the eye and keep doing the circles. Now rub out all of the lines that you've made with a rubber and touch up the um, uh, lines. Now we're going to work up a, on a crease in the middle of the eye where your eyelid would be. So just keep drawing lines backwards and forwards like this until you get something like this. Now we're going to colour in the iris and you have to do it in circular motion so that you don't see the pencil lines. I didn't do this very well so I'm going to fix it later. Now take your rubber and draw a little square. Draw a little square in the iris to make your rubber and fill in the middle. Try rub out as much pencil line in the middle as you can. When you rub off the pencil shavings, try not to rub the, to smudge the pencil. Now go over the highlights with your pencil lightly. Rub out all of the smudges if you did make some. And just touch up all of the lines that you've made. Now that it's touched up, we're going to go around the eye one more time and try push hard down so that you get a nice so that you get a nice firm line on the eye and it is recognizable. Now this that was a annoying fail, so don't do that stage. But um I, I did that by mistake. Now touch up the eye socket um with your pencil uh and Make the second uh, eye crease under your eye and do the same thing with the top as you did. And keep doing the same motion as you did with the top. Keep doing that until you get something nice that looks like this. Now keep now fill in the middle and with lighter pencil uh, and do it with nice pencil strokes, try not to scribble and do the same with the top but leave enough space for an eyebrow which we will do later oh, or now. Yes. Now take your tissue, pa t tissue paper and blend in all of the lines that you have made like, like so. Keep blending until you get a nice finish.
try to do it in circular motion so that you don't see the, ru the rubbings of the tissue paper. And add as much depth to the eyelid as you can, as you as you need to, and make it nice fading so you can't see the pencil line on the eyelid. I just do some nice long pencil strokes and blend it in again. I forgot to give an explanation to do the eyebrow. So basically you just do a little triangle on the end and like a square and you join them up almost. But don't just don't just do lines, you have to make it a bit curved. This is taking a long time. Now that we've done that, we're going to blend in the iris, but don't blend it into the rest of the eye. I went over it with a darker pencil, um, which was, I think, B5 pencil. My hand got all messy. Um, so now I'm just blending that in. Blend it with your finger. This is how it should look. Now that you've done that, take your pencil and do the lines on highlights again do another square at the end of it to make the split eye highlights and gently shade in between the lines I'm using a mechanical pencil because it's easier now as for the exciting bit we're going to use our pencils I have chosen to use my red pencils because I have a lot of those shades so I'm going to use my dark reds and my light peaches for blending. I'm going to use my dark red and I'm going to do jagged lines, heart some in all shapes and different sizes and I'm going to do the whole that for the whole way around the eye. Don't be afraid to make it as unique as you want. You can use any colour. Try and make it so that you follow the circle all around. Don't make it all going up. Keep doing that all the way around the circle. Now we're going to use a dark, a lighter red, and we're going to go over it, and a, then we're going to lightly shade in the middle and blend it out. Now we're going to use an orangey colour and do little patches around the eye. Now that you've done that, we're going to use a peach to blend it all in together. You can use circles as the shape that you uh, you can do up and down strokes or you can do circular motion strokes it doesn't make a difference I would recommend um, circular strokes because it well no line strokes because it gives it more of an eye effect and just blend it all the way in You should be seeing it come together. Just keep blending. It doesn't matter if you get it into the 
into the iris. We're gonna go over that with a black fine liner. Now we grab our black fine liners and go around the iris with it. Uh, mine looks like it's not very black, but it is. It's just my camera that's not letting it show. We're going to do the same thing, but outside of the eye, we're going to go around the eye and make sure that it's a nice uh, round eyeball. Now we're going to get our 4B pencil and we're going to do an outline of the eyebrow. Outline it quite dark but not dark so that it's black. Just keep it in a grey. Do this the whole way around. This is what mine looks like now. Now we're just going to go lighter in the center and we're going to blend it so that the middle is like highlighted almost and do that the whole way around. In my camera it doesn't really look like it's highlighted in the middle but I promise you it is Now you're going to take your tissue paper and you're going to blend that in but try not to blend it in with the skin because that just makes it look like it's not there. Once you've done that you're going to take your ordinary pencil and you're going to try sharpen it so it's quite sharp and you're going to do lots of little hair shapes on the eyebrow and on the bottom but don't make them too long otherwise it looks like a gorilla eyebrow and we're going to go back into the creases and just make them darker with your darker pencils and rub out the inside of the eyeball so it's nice and white this should be your finished result uh, well it was mine um, I quite like how it turned out feel free to put your own twist on it but I hope this helped you uh, with a drawing technique for eyeballs so bye